he said he was in the roof. The water level was seven feet high inside our house. In the heat of Hurricane Dorian, USF student Asif Robinson got a desperate message from his father, who was trapped under his roof. He didn't have any food, any water, um, was in there for two days. We told my dad to start chipping at the roof. Um, so he doesn't get stuck when if the water was to rise anymore. Robinson says he did the only thing he could think of to help post his father's photo and location on social media in hopes someone would rescue him. He says the Coast Guard couldn't get to his father because the storm raged on. But thanks to others sharing his post, help came. There was a group of people with jet skis and boats that just volunteered, I think, that helped him get out. And we're very thankful. This was all that was left of his father's home after the storm. The entire concrete wall is being blown out um, due to the storm surge. That means all our furniture is basically out in the ocean somewhere. Robinson says most buildings and homes are required to withstand 180 mile per hour winds. But when a Category 5 hurricane stays for two days, no one could have prepared for that. Not being able to be near family during that time, just the preservation of life is, is second to none. He says it's hard to know where to start to rebuild when everyone is starting from scratch. But he wants people to know the capital of the Bahamas was not impacted by Dorian. And if you visit there, it will help their economy out when they need it most. We're very thankful for all the help we've received so far. However, in six months time, in a year time, um, many people are still going to be displaced. They're going to be without homes. They're not going to be able to go to work. And so I'm asking that you help in a year's time, in six months' time, because it's going to be necessary. It's insane when you see the pictures of his home. It doesn't even look like a house. Robinson's family has a GoFundMe page set up to help raise money to rebuild their home. We have a link to that and to other safe places that you can donate to help people in the Bahamas. You can find that at WTSP.com.